the network. What's up, Brand Man Network? It's Sean, and I'm back with another BrandManNetwork.com exclusive. Now, this video got to get straight to the point because it has to do with networking and how do you really get the attention of someone who has already found a certain level of success, right? Because a lot of people are doing this wrong. This doesn't apply for every single situation, but you'll be able to tell when it does apply if you just check this out right here. Now, let's use you, Ludacris for an example. Ludacris has found a good amount of success in music, right? And because of that, he pretty much has access to whatever he wants in music. He's considered a legend. And what people get wrong is you might be able to run into Ludacris or you might hit him up on, on Instagram and you're asking for help with music or you're trying to get them to listen to your music and things of that nature. But what does Ludacris get from you? Uh, he can pretty much do whatever he wants to with with music, he, pro he can probably get some level of success out of an artist who has no talent. He just picks out of nowhere because of his networking um, ability or his, his connections, you know, capital access, all those types of things. So you have to think about what does this person want? Ludacris has been a lot more active in like technology or investments lately. Um, he's involved in roadie and some other things, right? So in those categories, that's probably where he has less resources. It's the same if you think about somebody like Ryan Leslie. He's more connected and established in the tech world, but you know, if you go to him about his whole music and all that kind of stuff, he's probably less interested than if you come to him about Superphone and talking about the company that he's actively working on right now. Right? So a lot of people have trouble when they don't realize that when we talk about adding value, offering value to people, it's not about what you think is valuable. If you say, oh, my beats are valuable, I'm gonna hit you, like, you can use my, my beats free on any video, Sean, anytime. Nobody cares because we don't know who you are. We haven't had a chance to, to listen to what you're doing. And that's just a, a me scenario. And I hear other people who has YouTube, do YouTube videos and things like that, right? And it's not a personal thing. It's where is our people's attention at the time. If you find, run into somebody and or you do research on people because you want to get their attention, you need to figure out where their attention is at the time. They've already found success over here, so they probably don't need help being successful or need any any kind of energy over here. But if you see them going in a new space, then you got to focus on that space and figure out where can I offer value in that space or where can I just start a conversation in that space just to get their attention and then maybe flip it back to what I want at some point. You can't just think that value is the thing that you Think is valuable value to a person is the thing that they think is valuable it's so subjective before you reach out to people when it comes to networking make sure that you get a sense of who they are and what they are right now not what they've done all that matters is where is their attention right now because they're going to see things in that space far more than any other space it's just like when you're looking for a car right you decide you're going to get a car next thing you know you start seeing that car everywhere Right, it's just popping up. You see the brand or you actually see the exact model, all that stuff, because that's where their focus is. So you offer them something about music eh, like they see it, they hear it, but it's not where their their mind is right now. They're trying to build this other thing up. So figure that out when it comes to whoever you're reaching out to. But that takes more front end work. I promise you when it comes to creating videos, when it create comes to networking, when it comes to so many things, front end work, just research before you act will help you be so much more successful. It'll help you spend far less time and it'll make your execution far more effective. And that's what it's all about, man. Let's save some time, let's save some money and be more successful at the same time. So I would love to know you guys' thoughts on this. Hopefully, you know, you've used a situation like this and I would like to know, you know, what, what, what worked out for you? How, how did you use it? Or like use it and then come back and let me know how that happened too in one of the live Q and A's or something like that. As always, you know that this is the process. Let's do the work.